What's up guys, it's Mr. Whip, the tech helper. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to emulate N64 games on your Android device, whether it's a phone, a tablet, or even kind of a handheld console like this Logitech G Cloud. And I'll be showing you um, with this device here today. And this is the emulator and some of the games I have on it. And I'll show you the step-by-step -step process on how to do it. It's super easy. All you need to do is download M64 plus FZ in the Google Play Store. So you're just going to go Google Play, and then you're going to search for M64. And there it is right here. So you go ahead and you click on that, and you're going to install it. Now I already have mine installed. And then once you have that done, you're going to just plug your Android device to your computer. So there we go, plugged it in. But if we go to the computer here, and this is where we're gonna put our uh, ROMs, which is our game files onto um, our Android device. And I'll show you guys how to do that. But as you can tell here, you can see it's plugged in, but it's showing this folder is empty. So what I'm gonna do is just go down to settings on the tablet here. Then I'm gonna scroll down to more settings. Scroll down till you get to more settings. Click on that. And then it's gonna be Android settings. You're gonna scroll down to the bottom um, or where was it here? Display, battery. Oh, there it is. You're gonna click on connected devices and then it says USB. It's right now just for charging, but you're gonna wanna click file transfer. And now you can tell that we've got the uh, storage that's on it before it was just uh, blank. So now we're able to actually transfer files. Now, you're gonna have to do some Google research and uh, you could probably just find out how to do this on YouTube, but you're gonna have to wanna, you're gonna wanna find out how to download these ROMs for the N64. And once you have them downloaded on your computer, which are pretty small files when you really look at it, um, you're gonna download them on the computer. I have created a little folder on my desktop called gaming. And then um, I just have all my different consoles here with the games in them. I've got N64, then you go over on your Android, which is, um, this is my device here, the GR006. This is the Android device. I created a new folder called games. And then here I've got, you know, my N64 games, PS2 and PSP. Video tutorials on those to come real soon. But here's my N64 games, and then I've just simply dragged these into here. And it take, it's pretty quick because these files, like I said, are small. And because they're small and the graphics are not that great on the N64, you should have no problem running them on almost all your Android devices, depending on what year they're from. So once you've done that <clears throat> and you've loaded that all up, you're almost there. You just have to go back into M64+. Plus and you will probably have your games empty here. So if you have no games here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on this plus, and then you're gonna be able to select the folder that your N64 games are in. Now, cool thing about this emulator is you could save these as zip files, which will actually decrease the size of the file so you can have even more games on your Android device if you are lacking um, storage on there. So. I just like to click select folder and then here we go. I just go to this folder that I've created on the computer um, within the Android, which was, you know, I just clicked on games and 64 and that'll be the folder we're gonna check, check right here, right? So we're in games uh, or we're in GR006 and then games and then you just click N64 and use this folder. And then you click allow and it imports all the games and it will put them right down here in your library. And then from there, it's as simple as, you know, clicking on a game and playing it. And um, this is the free version, which has ads. So you can pay for the paid version, which doesn't give you 10 second ads every time. And an all, another thing is if you do just have a phone that you're doing this on, it can be nice to buy like a controller and you can buy a lot of different controllers. There's so many to choose from that you can just add on to these, but it's pretty simple to do. All you need is a little bit of uh, 
know-how on how to find these ROMs and that's pretty easy to do. And then, yeah, you can just go ahead and start gaming away. Um, you can do on, you see we have the on uh, screen control, so you don't actually need the controller, but it is an option. Um, we're not gonna quit. We're gonna just, uh, we'll press start. And yeah, this is it. This is it and how you play. Um, pretty sweet, pretty easy, and all N64 games have ran very, very easily on this device, and hopefully they work for you guys too. So thanks for watching. More tutorials to come, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.